Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on long multiplication using the grid method. So, let's have a look at a question. When I want to do something like 63 times 42 without a calculator, I use the grid method. So, what I mean by the grid method is we split the 63 up into 60 and into 3. And that goes on the top of our grid. And we split the 42 up into 40 and 2. And that goes on the side of our grid. And that makes our grid, which we're going to use to make work out the answer. So all we do now, this is a times question. We're going to times all of these numbers together. So the first one, we're going to do 40 times 60. Well, the easy way to do that is to do 4 times 6 is 24 and then add on how many zeros are in the question. So there's one zero there, and there's one zero there, so there's two zeros. Next, I'm going to do 2 times 60. Again, I'm going to do 2 times the 6, which is 12, and add on how many zeros. Well, there's one zero. And then over here in this box, we're going to do 40 times 3. So we would do 4 times 3, is 12 and add on a 0. Finally in the last box we're going to do 2 times 3 which is 6 and now we have our four middle numbers so we're going to add up these four middle numbers which will tell us what our answer is. Uh, so we're going to do 2400 add 120 add 120 add 6. So when we add this up very carefully, going down this column, we have 6. Down this column, we would have 4. Down this column, we have 6. And here we just have 2. So the answer to our question is 2,646. So that's how we do a question like that using the grid method. Let's have a go at a harder one. So this time, we're going to do 312 times 24. So firstly, let's split up the 312 into 300, 10, and 2. So that's going to be the start of our grid. So that goes along the top of our grid. Along the side of our grid, we want 24. So we're going to have 20, and we're going to have 4. And now we've completed our grid. We just need to work out what goes in the boxes. So first box. 20 times 300. Again, just we're going to use the first numbers. 2 times 3 is 6. And we're going to add on the zeros. So there's three zeros here. 1, 2, 3. 4 times 300. Well, we're going to do 4 times 3 is 12. And we're going to add on these two zeros. Then we have 20 times 10. Well, we just do 2 times 1 is 2 and add on the two zeros in the question. Underneath, we're going to do 4 times 10. Well, we know 4 times 10 is 40. Then we'll do 20 times 2. Well, 2 times 2 is 4. Add a 0. And finally, the last one will be 4 times 2, which is just 8. So now we've worked out all the numbers inside the grid. We're going to add up all of these six numbers. So we're going to add up all of these numbers. So I'm going to do this using a list. So we've got 6,000. We've got 1,200. 200. 40. 40. And 8. So we're adding up all of these numbers. So doing it carefully, going down the columns. This one would be 8. Going down here, we would have 8. Down here we have 2 and 2 is 4, and finally 6 and 1 will give me 7. So the answer to the question is 7,488. So that was a slightly harder question. Now we're going to do a question involving money. So here we go, we have £4.26 multiplied by 34. So the way we would answer this question is we'd actually not do £4.26. We'd write that as 426 times 34. 
and we'll put the decimals in afterwards. So we've changed it to 426 times 34. So using what we just learned a minute ago, we're going to say that's 426. So that's going to go at the top of our grid for our grid method question. And now on the side of the grid, we'd have 34. So we'd have a 30 and a 4. And now we just need to work out what goes inside our grid. So again, to do 30 times 400, we'll do 3 times 4 is 12. And add on the zeros, we have 1, 2, 3 zeros. Underneath, 4 times 4 is 16. Add on the two zeros. 30 times 20, well, we'll do 3 times 2 is 6. And we have two zeros. Underneath, 20 times 4, well, 2 times 4 is 8. Add on the zero. And now we do 6 times 30. Well, 3 times 6 is 18. And we have one zero. And finally, 6 times 4 is 24 in the last box. So now what we do is we take these six numbers in our grid and we add them up. So we have 12,000. We have 1,600. 600, 80, 180, and 24. So we're adding up these numbers carefully in columns. So going down here, we have 4. Going down here, we have 8, 16, 17, 18. So we put an 8 there, and we carry the 1. So we have 1, 7, 13, 14 in this column. Put a 4 there, carry the 1. So we have one, two, three, four in this column, and finally one on its own at the end. However, we have to be really careful here because that's not our final answer. Our final answer had money, which had two decimal places. You can see it has a decimal with two numbers after it. So because it's money, we need to change this into um, having two decimal places. So we'll put our decimal place there to make it 84p at the end. So the answer is 144 pounds and 84 pence. So that is how you do a question with money. You change it into a normal number. So in this case, £4.26 changes into 426. And then you put the decimals back in at the end of the question. OK, well done. Now have a go at these few questions and see how you get on.